Hey people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you all how to do press on nails using sticky adhesive tabs. As you can see, these are my bare nails and yeah, these are the products I'm using. Here are the Laza nail adhesive tabs. I actually have tested these uh, tabs out and they worked really, really well. Um, I did some extension, some jelly tip extensions. One of my nails popped off and i used this adhesive tab on that middle finger that i'm pointing to and it lasted for a week plus so yeah i know that doing the nails with these adhesive tabs are definitely going to last you at least a week or two um so yeah that's the adhesive tabs i'm using and then i'm also going to be using these personal nails that i got from walmart um i've had these press on nails forever um but wanted to put them to use needed a quick set um in between doing some of my other sets and so yeah i'm going to show you all how i got this look so yeah the first thing you want to do is size all of the press on nails to your natural nails i like to do this beforehand and just line everything up in front of me just to make my life nice and easy here you can see I just sprayed a little bit of alcohol onto my hands and I'm just dehydrating my nail um, using a lint free wipe. So yes, um, in the last video I asked you all if you liked voiceovers or if you like me talking while doing my videos and I had an overwhelming response of people loving the voiceovers. So here we are with another voiceover. Um, I do think that I'm going to do a mixture of the two on my channel simply because um, sometimes I do be a little bit pressed for time and don't really have the opportunity or the quiet space to do a voiceover but I've actually really been enjoying the voiceovers too and really like um, how that last video sounded felt and looked so here you see me just sizing out the different adhesive tabs to fit my natural nail bed um, you'll want to get a tab that covers as much of your nail as possible without touching the cuticle and the side walls. But um, yeah, here you just see me pressing down and you want to make sure you give it a nice press. Push down really nice and firm and keep the plastic backing on um, because you'll want to take them off as you do them. This stuff is really sticky and um, yeah, your hand can get stuck on it because I'll show you here in a clip shortly where um, the tab got stuck to my skin and I could not get it off. So, well, I could get it off, but it was just very difficult. Um, so you'll see that here in the clip coming up. Yeah, right here. So it did not want to budge. Like this stuff is really strong. So that right there is a nice indicator to let you know it's gonna hold up nice and well. So you can see I have here um, all the tabs applied to each of the nail beds. Again, I'm just pressing down again just to make sure it has a good hold. Um, this step you'll want to do before you even start the whole application, which is just following the inside of the um, press on. I forgot to do that beforehand, but I'm just doing it now here quickly. Um, so yeah, that's that. I feel like I've been chatting for a bit, so I'll just let you all kind of watch me um, take off the plastic and apply the nail here. Yeah, you'll want to um, use tweezers if any of that plastic backing doesn't want to come off but here I'm going to go ahead and apply the nail what's really important about how you apply this nail is you want to make sure you slightly tuck it underneath the cuticle and I do apologize my camera's a little bit out of focus here but I'm slightly tucking the nail underneath the cuticle area and then pressing down firmly this is going to make sure that the nail looks nice and natural um upon application so yeah that's the index finger there i'm going to go ahead and show you the middle finger as well and i'm going to repeat the same process remove the plastic backing and then slightly tuck the nail underneath the cuticle area press down firmly so i'll let you watch here
So how are you all doing? I hope the new year is treating you well thus far. Um, I actually have some exciting news to share with you all. I am still like floored and in disbelief at the fact that I was picked as the winner of two giveaways. Um, so yeah, I won the giveaway from Ceci's Nail World. And then I also won the giveaway from Sandra Sparkly Set. So I definitely want to say thank you to you amazing ladies. Um, I can't believe that I won. Um, and I can't believe that I won too at that. Definitely go and check out these two ladies. They both post some amazing nail content. Um, so yeah, I will leave their YouTube and their Instagrams linked down in the description box. So you all can go and subscribe to their channel, follow their Instagrams and show them some love and support. They are both really sweet and make some amazing nail sets. So yeah, definitely go and check them out. As you just saw, I apply most of the nails here to my left hand and I'm just holding back that cuticle area as I stated earlier to make sure um, the nail gets adhered in a nice and natural way. And you also see me rolling the nail as I'm pressing on it. And that's just to try to eliminate any air bubbles that may be um, underneath the nail or in between the um, adhesive tab. So yeah, this is what it's looking like, the first hand here. It looks nice, it looks natural, it looks cute. And I went ahead and did the second hand off camera. So that is what the finished look is looking like. Now I'm gonna give you all some tips on what you can do to make sure these nails can last for two plus weeks. So what I'm showing you here is these little, I don't know, it's like a tab that's at the edge of the nail. I feel like a lot of press-ons and even, yeah, even a lot of press-ons and full cover tips have this, but you'll wanna just take a nail file and gently file around um, that tab to get it to just kinda come off. And um, you'll want to be really gentle in how you do this because you don't want to disturb the shape of the nail. And so just kind of take your time doing that and don't shave off too much either because again, you don't want to mess up the shape that the nail already has. So you can see me filing here. Once you get the tab filed off and your nails um, in the shape that you want them to be, then next you're gonna go ahead and go in with some top coat. So as you can see, this particular set, the press on nails came matte. So I am gonna use a matte gel top coat um, just to kind of seal in the design because on that index finger, you can see that um, it's a beautiful little rose design on there and I don't want to mess that up. So I'm going to go ahead and apply um, my Beatles matte top coat to the top of all of these nails. And um, with this, you want to make sure just like you're applying to your natural nail, don't get too close to the cuticle and make sure you don't touch the side walls. Um, so I'm going to let you all just kind of see me apply my top coat here and yeah i'll be back shortly so with winning those giveaways i'm super grateful and i'm super enthralled um, at the fact that i was picked and it really just lets me know that i'm headed in the right direction with my channel because for a really long time there, I my channel was lost. <laughs> if you all go back and look at some of my older videos, you can just see I was just posting a lot of random stuff. And so I'm really happy that I found this nail community and um, have found direction with my channel where I wanna go. It's something I enjoy doing and it's something that um, you all enjoy watching. So it's a win-win for everybody, but definitely helped me gain a little bit of perspective and uh, made me just feel happy about like where things are going so i'm looking forward to 2022 and i'm hoping that um, it's going to be a great year for all of us okay so you just saw me apply the top coat the matte top coat to all of the nails i'm just flipping over for 10 seconds and curing it 
Um, make sure you all cap your free edge and also clean up the cuticle area side walls um, to prevent any lifting from taking place. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and speed through and do my second hand. One thing I noticed, um, which was like a mistake that I made was, um, I think moving forward, if you're doing press on nails and you wanna seal in designs, it's gonna make more sense for you to apply base coat, gel base coat, then a gel top coat. Cause I noticed that actually about uh, a few hours later this matte top coat peeled right off of the press on nail which shocked me because normally when i apply shiny top coat that doesn't happen um but i think at least in particular to applying matte press ons you'll want to do a matte I mean, you'll want to do a gel base coat first and then a matte top coat so now just a few tips for how to make them last longer okay so the first tip to getting them to last two plus weeks is to not get your hands wet for a minimum of four hours um, one way that i kind of get around that because i know that could be difficult to do is to apply it right before you go to bed after you've showered after you've gotten everything you need to do done for the day um, you can apply them and that way when you're sleeping it's adhering to the nail and hardening up and things like that i've noticed that anytime i've done this method and gotten my hands wet the stuff pops off within like an hour or two but if you wait at least those four hours um you will see maximum adhesion tip number two for the next hour you want to just continue to press on your hand on the nails as you saw me do just now just continue to press on it as you think about it over the next hour and that's going to help them stay on a lot longer tip number three if you must get your hands wet try to minimize it as much as possible i would recommend using hand sanitizer or even using hand sanitizing wipes um, just to avoid having to wash your hands and put them in water and the final tip I have for you all is not to apply cuticle oil directly after application. I would wait those four hours before applying cuticle oil, water, any type of liquid substance to avoid lifting and the nail popping off. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, let me know down in the comments, how do you all apply your press on nails? I'm actually thinking about starting a series where I apply them using different methods. So let me know if that's something you all wanna see. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.